conflicting reports about what really happened last night at the White House. Did Omarosa quit or did she get fired? Now, Omarosa's camp is telling TMZ that Omarosa started thinking about resigning back in August after the Charlottesville riots because she disagreed with Trump's handling of the crisis. They say that she took issue with Trump saying that they were good people on both sides, which of course included the neo-Nazis. They also say she didn't appreciate Trump beefing with Representative Frederica Wilson or messing up on a phone call with African-American gold star Widow. They also say Trump's endorsement of Roy Moore was the last straw for Omarosa, so she turned in her resignation effective January 20th. Other sources are saying that she was fired by General John Kelly after she tried to meet with the president following Roy Moore's loss in Alabama. Omarosa's former good girlfriend, April Ryan, who has served as a White House correspondent and is the Washington, D.C. Bureau Chief for the American Urban Radio Networks, says that Omarosa didn't resign and that she was actually fired. She went on a Twitter rant and then made an official statement today. She tweeted, I'm hearing from several sources there was a lot of drama at the White House last night and it wasn't about the Alabama election. Hashtag fired. Stay tuned. Then she said, I heard there was drama and she was escorted out of the building and off campus. Sources say General Kelly did the firing and Omarosa is alleged to have acted very vulgar and cursed a lot and said she helped elect President Trump. The word is General Kelly had it and got rid of her. And here is her official statement on the matter. House report. Minister Omarosa Manigal, friend of President Donald Trump, who is also a Trump staffer, has resigned. She signed a negotiated resignation letter saying that her last day was January 20th. But the devil is in the details. Apparently, General Kelly gave Omarosa the notice that it was time for her to go last night. She was very upset and said that she wanted to speak to the president. According to sources, General Kelly said the president was already informed and he signed off. General Kelly is also alleged to have said that this is not like going to the principal's office. Then Omarosa Manigault was very vulgar, according to sources, as well as using curse words. Omarosa Manigault was not the only one allowed to leave. Her assistant is said to have been let go as well. Meanwhile, according to sources, Minister Omarosa Manigault did not take the information about her firing or resignation very well. She walked over to the residence and tried to get in. General Kelly was called back to deal with this issue as Omarosa was trying to get into the residence to see the president. Secret Service stopped her and she was escorted off campus. It's not known if she will be back to fulfill her negotiated resignation date of January 20th, but there was said to be high drama at the White House last night as Omarosa Manigault who made $180,000 a year, was let go. Now, according to sources, during that altercation with General Kelly, Omarosa said that she had brought the black vote to President Trump. General Kelly says, no, that is not the case. She also cited the HBCUs, and General Kelly is said to have said, that the new head of the HBCU initiative doesn't like you. The drama continues. More coming. April Ryan, AURN News.